Hello there. So to configure the client portal, you want to head down here to configuration. And in configuration, you want to find a client portal, expand the settings here. And our first step is going to be to uh, customize the look and feel of our client portal. So you see we have some options here. Uh, we can add our company's branding colors, upload our company logo, and switch out the uh, background image if you want to. Next up, invitations. So here we're going to be able to customize um, what's going to be sent to your client when you actually invite them. So we have our logo. We can switch this out if we want to and add it up here for whatever reason. Of course, we can switch out the content and that sort of thing. So when you have it the way you want, uh, make sure to go down here and select Save. And then the rest of the settings here um, have to do with uh, a solo object specific uh, permissions. So for instance, let's go to project permissions. Here you can control exactly what you want to uh, show and hide to your clients uh, when they're logged into the client portal. So in this case, uh, we do want our clients to see the projects that um, basically they've hired you to do. Uh, we want them to be able to check up on the status of the project. They can see some of the tasks um, visible to whoever's logged in, you know, showing only budgeted time, but not the, the rates or the dollar value logged, that sort of thing. So we have a lot of options here. And of course, for the rest of our objects and modules in Acelo, we have a lot of other uh, permission options as well. And just to check that it's the way that you want, we can actually uh, view as client portal user here. So let's find a user and we can impersonate this contact. So again, this is just to check, um, does it look the way uh, that you want it to look uh, and when you're actually logged in as our contact, John? Okay, next up. We have our, our client uh, company, so our company record, Acme Corp. And from our company record, we have the portal dropdown. This is where you can actually view your users and invite the, uh, your client contacts to the portal. So the All tab here is all of our contacts at Acme. Active would be if they've been invited and they've actually logged in so far. You would see your active users here. Invite sent, so we've invited two users so far. And then none is basically what's left. Um, someone that's not invited yet, or maybe they were invited, but you've revoked access, would be under here in the none tab. So from here, we can uh, bulk invite our, our client contacts to the portal if we want to. I can select name, and it selects all of them. Um, or I can just select one at a time kind of deal. So to the right, I can view the contact, I can send that email invitation, or I can actually generate an invite link also. So you see here, um, we can just send them a link, which would give them uh, access to the portal. All right, so I've selected our three client contacts. Uh, you can see down here on the bottom right, prepare invite to the three users. Great, so we have that template that we were just configuring in the back end. This seems like it's ready to go and we can just send out our invitations just like that. Thank you.